Hello guys and welcome to episode 43 of my Total War Warhammer 3 campaign playing as Kostaltin leading the Great Orthodoxy to save Urson. Today we're going to be hopefully dealing with Scarbrand and we're also going to be able to jump into the rifts since they spawned previously. So Kostaltin's going to be working his way over to this one since it's closest. Actually I say that, I think he can get within that one in two turns whereas this one maybe not. So we'll go this way instead. And we're going to have Yusuf go for the attack onto Scarbrand. So let's go ahead and do that. That is going to bring in some of their reinforcements, but I'm okay with it. We have a lot of Kossars, so I should just be able to mow them down. we just got to make sure we focus down Scarbrand first, because he's going to be extremely deadly for my individuals here. Let's jump on in. I know from experience how strong Scarbrand can be, because of course we've got a Scarbrand campaign going on the channel, and if you haven't seen it already, definitely go check it out. Now Scarbrand in this case does have his weapons, which means that over time he will become even stronger. He can increase his weapon strength by I think up to 50%, put him to like over 1,000 weapon strength, which is just disgusting. Anyway, uh, we will deploy probably over to one side just because this is an easier place for me to hold. Uh, let's go ahead and start by checkerboarding our Gossars as usual. And then we'll have the Strelzi boys like so with the Gossars in between and either side. Okay, these can all just hang out at the back, although I have these kind of there for the time being. That'll do. Uh, let's put them into a control group, start the deployment, start the battle, and we'll shift forwards a little bit here. Actually, I can use that as the left flank. I think what we're going to do is we're going to move forwards with the bears and harass them a little bit with magic like if I can maybe get some death frosts onto Scarbrand that would actually be fantastic so we'll try and do that I can also spawn my kitty to go and attack as well so we'll spawn them there uh, we're going to want to get to these chaos furies and kill those We're going to try and get close to Scarbrand again. He is taking a decent chunk of damage. Right, these two can fall back. As we seem to have caught the ire of Scarbrand. He can move pretty fast, so I've got to be really careful not to get too close to him. I think maybe I'm going to have to move up. I don't really want to, but maybe I'll have to. I'm surprised how bad this snow leopard is. I really wish it was better. Because it'd be cool if the witches could have the snow leopards as like a permanent companion. I think that'd be pretty good. It looks like he's coming, maybe. Good. All right, let's get behind our lines and prepare to shoot them to death. Right, the one thing I am going to have to do is put all of these onto skirmish, and we're going to shoot Scarbrand as soon as he's in line of sight. If I can get rid of Scarbrand, that'd be massive. He's actually walking really slowly right now. I have no idea why. Look at that. Oh, Scarbrand's just going to be dead before anything happens. Well, 
This is weird. I don't know if it's like because they're slowed by the spell that I did or what, but they're all walking incredibly slowly towards us. Like slow mo. Fine by me, of course, because I want to. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I want to obviously kill them off before they get close. Did I put skirmish mode on these? I think I did, didn't I? I put the wrong thing on. Rather than guard. <laughs> it's like throwing out all of my formation. Right, let's get in there. We're going to go and heal these as they take damage. And where's Yosef? He's over here. He killed that. It's really good, actually, that he killed that. Yeah, the next thing we need to do is kind of like shoot over into these Minotaurs. I'm probably going to have a unit shoot the Chaos Furies. We can even have these help with that. We of course, want to kill those Chaos Spawn. I do have plenty of magic that I can use, but it's just kind of difficult to place. Maybe I could do a Heart of Winter here. Because that's going to cover quite a few of those. We can Death Frost the Herald of Corn for sure. We fight for Orson. Fight for Slip. Kislev and George. I'm gonna have my sleds run down the Minotaurs. I think that's victory anyway. Yeah, that was pretty clean. Just a skull cannon left there. And the Herald of Corn. Nice. Let's go get him. I can actually move her forwards because the ice sheet will be useful here to slow them down. And that way our chariots can keep up. I have some really good range. Like we're hunting right now. Get them, lads. Like their weapon attack is actually pretty good, like the, the missile attack, sorry. They are fantastic for that situation, like hunting down trolls, hunting down minotaurs, like anything, hunting down ogres. Sleds do a great job. It's like a couple of the minotaurs got away, which is unfortunate. Because I might not be able to chase them. We've got 10,500 for that victory, though. That's a lot. We can take the replenishment, which pretty much full replenishes us. Although 3,800 is really nice on top. So we'll take that. A lot of money. And we are still in range to finish them off. And we get the charge bonus weapon strength from Scarbrand. Damn. Yosef's getting pretty badass. I really need to give him, like, better armor eventually, though. That's another easy win. An extra little bit of cash. Fantastic. And income from post-battle loot plus 5% now as well. Right, so from here, what we'll do is we'll move up to this rift and we'll destroy it. And we'll just have him go rift, rift, rift and destroy all of these behind us. And then we're going to need something to destroy the rifts back here. I guess I could send Pyotr back to destroy this rift, but it's not he's not going to be fast enough to do that. That's one trouble we have. So we are definitely going to have to deal with armies that are going to like, sack our settlements back here, which is frustrating. 
Because I was going to build the night patrol house here at Grim Daraz, but it's kind of pointless now because we're going to be able to just well finish the campaign hopefully and we won't have to deal with rifts again. But uh, we'll build it anyway just in case. Uh, I don't know how it ends. I will grab frost blades upgrade. That's, that's fine I guess. We should level it up twice. Cool. That's Kostaltin and Yosef moved over to Katarin who can, I think, attack this army. They're both in march dance. If I can kill them both, this could be a good chance for me to then recruit a bunch of units as well. That would be nice. Right, let's uh, check Kallag flag. Right, this is Clan Grittus. Uh, who is in there? have some, <laughs> some skeleton spearmen in there. I guess they own all of these. I mean they at least own Kallag Vlag and Kras Und. So we'll see. The other thing we can do here is obviously attack the vampires in order to secure this province. That would also help Kallagadrin who are our allies. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go for this attack. We will do the motherland thing though. We haven't got a invocation going at the moment. But we'll just go for the melee attack. Although plus five melee defense is really nice. Let's do the Urson. Because that will also give attrition to enemies in our land. With Evelina, could give her one of these. Scholar is not a bad idea. I do really like Champion of the Ice Guard, though. I'm going to grab that. Just so that when they're on the bear, they're actually really strong. They're actually allied with the Limean Sisterhood as well. That's fine. We'll end up at war with them. Great. I mean, this is a old settlement, so we're going to have to play it out. Let's jump on in. This army is actually quite nasty. <laughs> Just a lot of range. <laughs> they do have the rattling guns, which are going to be a pain. But I guess the plan will be attack the... I think the right side is the easiest for us to attack. We'll get like the Strauzzi, I think, to climb the wall. Yeah, here is always best. And we can even use like the little Grom to attack the towers, maybe? I don't know how much damage it does. I'll, t I'll test it out. But these can all go for the gate. I might also have these go for the gate because I honestly I just want these to kind of die uh, I don't think they're going to be that useful uh, these can be on the far right I think that's all of our troops so we'll start battle they can go there we'll target the tower and I think I'm just going to spread these out and have them shoot over the top because at the moment, oh, the towers do so much damage though. It's so annoying. Oh, look at that. That unit's just getting demolished. It doesn't matter that much if the, if the unit gets demolished because I am going to replace some of them with better units eventually. This is like one of the high rank ones, so I should probably keep them alive. This is cool. Alright, 
I'll just get off those clan rats quick. That tower should be dead soon. So what I'm going to do instead is we're going to do something like this so that these aren't just getting wrecked by the towers. Holy crap. The poison wing glob of deers as well. Also getting some shots in there. Annihilated those guys. Good. Tower's gone. Uh, rip to these guys. Got poison's death. That gate's taking a hell of a long time to build, that's for sure. Or not build, uh, break down. The, qu the quite opposite of build. <laughs> Destroy. Skeleton Spearman. Right, they crumbled. Right, we're gonna wanna kill off the rattling guns for sure. We'll take the cap out of there. There's no way they're doing anything useful right now. It's actually the perfect position for the rattling guns. It's disgusting. Is there a way that I can deal with these? I need to, like, drop some abilities on them. We'll do the hawks. We'll do this as well. They just utterly destroy their own unit though. Classic Skaven. Nice, that did tons of damage. And we're also shooting them with the Strauzi all the time as well. That's my other unit of Strauzi. Oh, they got caught by that unit. Alright, let's just get these to Go there. Defenders of Keysland. Definitely taking more damage than I would have liked. But we're in now, so things should go pretty quickly. Because once I'm on the walls like this and we've taken care of like their rattling guns here. No worries. We'll get rid of the Master Assassin. Gonna spawn the Leopards. And these need to make sure they shoot the wrapping guns. Because they are doing way too much damage right now. Good. I'm going to take out the next ones as well. Oh, now we have a really, really good opportunity for some magic. So I'm going to throw a fireball all the way back here. Gonna go through all of these units. Then what we're gonna do is drop down the blizzard. Guess I could also do this on top. This is crazy. 
I'm going to drop this on top of that as well. Holy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Destroyed. <laughs> awesome. This is not on guard, so... I'm going to pull it back. Right, we can do something like this as well. We'll do the damage to herself. Again, it's something that did a lot of damage. And that's victory. Yeah. <laughs> She did incredible. Absolutely carried by my magic there. 552 kills. <laughs> awesome. So I did lose a couple of units which we can replace. I might even get more Strautzi here, I'm thinking. If we can create like a strong front line of Strautzi and then have like the Corsars fire over the Strautzi. Super strong. Right, we'll take that. Thank you very much. That's reducing corruption. So I think we'll just keep it for now. Also, it costs me a lot to build. I wonder if I get more money back for deconstructing this because it costs so much to make in the first place. Anyway. We will... Go for quartermaster, I think. And then we can grab no Renown Feared. For his recruitment, we'll grab a couple of Strozzi, I think, is the plan. Because he's currently got skirmisher traditions, he's also got firing drills. So, it makes sense. He's got all the buffs for those. Turn over to Katarin. Yeah, so Katarin has a big battle to do. We're, we're going to take it. Let's go. Get involved. Let's jump on in. It says casualty is going to be low. I think we just play it out regardless because it looks like they come in in quite a choke point there if I can get close enough to be able to attack them as they're coming in from this side I could probably just kill loads of them here and yeah, they're actually deploying down there as well <laughs> that's a disgusting place for the AI to deploy <laughs> Oh, they're doing that because obviously the reinforcements are coming in behind them, but it's such a bad idea. Okay, let's start deployment. By the way, I have no idea how that channel magic thing works. <laughs> let's uh, do this. I'm going to make them into like squares so uh, easier to control that way. We'll have these boys in the middle, and then we'll have these on the flanks. With these to clean things up. Yeah, they actually put themselves in such a bad spot. If I can just get here, I'm pretty sure we can just mow them down. And the other great thing about this, I can probably move forwards with Katarin. Though we don't have much magic at the moment. I don't have anything that can increases magic, do I? I was going to say I could put a heart, heart of Winter down here. When they all start coming towards us. They do actually have a Soul Grinder of Nurgle though, so... That is something we have to worry about. Patriarch! 
I'm just going to get into position here since the uh, plague toad's coming towards us. <laughs> what plague dudes? Destroyed. Right, here we go. Let's just speed things up. Just going to have the magic scene to do a harder winter if we wanted to. The nice thing here is, like, my shots have fantastic range. You can just demolish them un units one by one as they come up. Let's just try and see if we can squeeze around here into a bit of a better position for my range force. It's a bit more of an equal position. But yeah, this is going to be so easy. And again, I might actually run out of ammo. <laughs> oh, that was just uh, skeet shooting there. <laughs> Annihilated him. Okay. And the next thing I need to do is put down this. It requires 21 wins. Fox Rider is getting wrecked as well. Then no power reserve at all. Damn. Never mind then. We'll just do an ice sheet. That will give us more time to shoot them. Although, I think the biggest problem we might have here is running out of ammo. Pistoleos to come in here and help clean up these plague drones. He's terrible at fighting in melee, but it's the only fast unit I have to sort of respond. They can also shoot them from afar. But that is already victory, so job done, I suppose. A heroic victory. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to them to for going down into the <laughs> into the gully of doom. Maybe they just wanted to die. Nine thousand nine hundred from that, and thirteen thousand nine hundred experience for Catherine. That's Pretty damn good. We'll take even more money from that as well. It's a shame we're not in range to global recruit, though. I mean, I, can I go into global recruit? I no. Never Definitely going to take the opportunity to give her some. Ice guard now. She got three skill points from that. The renown of feared is number one. We've already got skirmish traditions. Probably going to go Urson's favored because I want to get bears as well. 
That's Ice Guard. That's Kossar's Astralzi. Like War Bear Riders, Elemental Bears. Like Creatures of the Land seems like the right one to do. Ursus Protection would also be good, but not that important just yet. Yeah, we'll do Creatures of the Land. A gift so that when I give her like a bear, it's gods. fine. Cool. At least we have a lot of money. I might hold on to it because it's going to cost me a lot to recruit the Ice Guard. I also actually need to recruit an army down here. So we will do that now. Unless there's a way for me to recruit a patriarch or two. Which there is. Can I do that here? A Gorsal maybe? No. Okay, yeah, we're going to do it down here. Like, Blackstone Tower has the Orthodoxy Chapel, which is why you can do it. I'm just going to recruit this guy and this guy. And we're going to send one to go and destroy that one, and we'll send one to destroy this one. That way I don't have to build an army down there. Don't care about that portal. We're probably going to destroy that portal. So, looks like we're all good. Let's just take out these guys. And Yevgeny can have another go here. Over to Evelina. You can take out this fella, the cultist of corn. Nice. Right, Darius Bebchuk. We'll go for Ursin's protection for him. That's all of our movement done. Boris is ready to go in two turns. Stilton will have his extra shouty next turn. Imminent rebellion here that I don't really care about. Cool. Let's just get the house by mountains upgraded. Definitely want to get these walls up. Pop a farm in there. That's Al Hart will do the same. Okay, like Siflin. That's what our money spent. I was going to save the money, but if I have to build you that many walls, money. then it's worth it. Also, with that last one. Where was that? The house by mountains. There's one where I chose to build walls in the main settlement when I should have built them in the second settlement. Where was that? Yeah, okay, yeah. We'll stop building that, build this instead. That's way more important. Because that actually gives Kalakaz Garaz walls. Whereas Kalex Ziflin already has walls. Okay. That's it. Let's move on to the next turn. I mean, it's a pure victory, and it's a settlement garrison, so. Hearts of ice. <laughs> Why would I play it out? Easy peasy. It's just free money. Oh, like a non-aggression pack. Sure. And that was the rebellion, I think. <laughs> More free money.
Great. <laughs> um, that was weird. With Costalton, we're going to jump into the rift. So we're going to traverse the rifts. So oh, no, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to enter the dark prince's realm. That's what we want to do. Let's go. The Dark Prince's Realm. Temptation, lust, and gluttony abound in this realm of desire. Confronting Slanesh's champion will not be easy, for they are found within the six circles of seduction. As you journey inward, know that you will be lured by temptations beyond any your tepid imagination could conjure. In the center lies the Palace of Slanish, a monument to perpetual lust, excess, and debauchery. I saw the angry princeling of chaos, and he was nourished by your cravings. So if we win the following battle, we get the extra growth, corruption, Reduction, control, and uh, income from all buildings. We can't do anything this turn, I believe. I must pray for the bear. So we just leave it there. Okay, let's head over to Yusuf. Who is going to destroy these rifts now. So we're going to close this one. Goodbye. Take the money. Head back over here. To destroy this one. We got Catherine. Are there any rifts up here that I need to take care of? No, there is rifts down here, like in Reichland. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful of this one. But Catherine, she's now just going to chill out. And we're going to replace her Cossars. I have no patience for weakness. Hmm. Gonna do this. And we're gonna pop in a couple of these. I would do more, but there's no point while we don't have global recruitment left. Because of course Boris is still doing his global recruitment as well. At least she's gonna have time to upgrade her army. Let's head over to Rastilton. Who oh, yeah. might as well close this rift. Otherwise it's just gonna be a pain in the future. First, a feast. And we'll play it out. Let's jump on in. I don't want to order resolve it and lose half my men, because we're gonna to have to attack the Skaven afterwards. And I have no idea what they have in that next settlement. It'd be really good actually to have a uh, one of the patriarchs with this army that's not in the army. Because it could clear the Skaven corruption and it could also scout out all of the settlements for us. But alas, we do not have one nearby. We do have the high ground though, which is fantastic. I'm just going to box these up and spread them out. Oh yes, of course we have Little Grom as well. I always forget about Little Grom. The nice thing about Little Grom is they can't ignore us. They have to come towards us straight away. It's not a very effective unit against infantry as well, as well as things. Oh, those blue horrors. Oh, that's nasty. I 
The thing about their troops is they want to attack us from range as well. So they're going to stop short. Start seeing it. Gossars! It is done! Winged Rancers! Interesting. My wing lancers should be okay here. I think it'd be interesting if, like, they could change weapon though. Like, if they, since they have like these spears, they could like pull out a sword while they're in close combat. Even if they like, it doesn't make them any more effective. Like, make more sense than trying to stab someone with a lance at short range. <laughs> Just warhammer things, I suppose. Pretty much it. Good. Actually, took more damage than I thought it would. Overall, pretty solid battle. And it will give us even more money. Can't complain. The reason that we really need to get rid of these risks is because I assume Soul Grinder armies come out of them still. Maybe bigger than before as well. I think I'll take the replenishment in this case though. It's good. And we'll just camp out on the border here. Let's level them up. Now I'm feared. Very good. Fighting wind upgrade and blessing discs. There we go. And that has unfortunately been my time. I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, uh, we'll continue our war with the Skaven and then we'll start working our way through the Vampire Count's lands of the Lamian Sisterhood. We will try and get rid of these two rifts down here before. Uh, they spawn from them. That might be difficult. I feel like this one will probably have something spawn from it. But what we're going to have to do as well is... Probably send Yosef back down south to the Witch's Wood. After these two have been dealt with. It depends. Like I might be able to just get another army here. Which I use to clean up the armies and then head north again. Not sure. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,